で示したところで、あのあの土を掘り出して分析する、そういったことを行ってきたあの履歴を示しています。今では、えー、キュリオスティはあの下の方にあるようにですね、クレーターの真ん中のにある丘、クレーターの中央級と言いますけど、そこにある、えー、とシャープさんという山を今登ろうとしています。シャープさんはあのの下の方にはこのように粘粘土ヘマタイトと呼ばれる鉱物があったり、粘土があったり、そういった。なんていうんですか、相乗に積み重なったような構造が見えてるんですけど、それはまさにここに水が溜まっていたということを示しているわけです。Another mission we just launched is called Insight. So this spacecraft is on the way to Mars right now. It will land in November. And it is designed not to roll, but to stay put. And it will deploy out on the ground a set of seismic sensors, some of the most sensitive seismic sensors ever made. And it will also deploy into the ground about five meters, a, a strip of thermistors that will measure the temperature of Mars. All planets, since they were created, are still cooling off. It's like you take a cake out of the oven, and it's hot and will cool over time. And so we know inside of Mars is hotter than the surface, and that means it must be cooling off. This will tell us about the interior and the geology that supports this type of heat loss. はい、それではこの前打ち上げられたばっかりのインサイトという計画についてお話します。今年の十一月には火星に着陸するはずです。着陸した後には地震計を表面に置き、かつ五メーターの長さの熱流量計というものを地面に突き刺します。地震計、熱流量計ともに火星の内部構造を知るための道具です。惑星というのは生まれた時からどんどんどんどん引いてくる熱く生まれてどんどんどんどん冷たくなっていくわけですから地球の惑星の内部構造を理解し惑星の進化の様子を理解しようと思うと熱流量計というものが大事ですし地震波を測定することで火星の内部のことが分かります。Seismic instruments will measure Mars quakes. Now we know Mars is shaking. It will have Like earthquakes, Mars quakes. We know that because we have seen features where rocks roll down hills, where we've observed avalanches over large regions in the mountain ranges in progress from our Mars reconnaissance work. And so we know that Mars quakes are occurring. There are several types of quakes we expect. One type of quake is from impacts. Mars's thin atmosphere allows meteors, becoming meteorites when they hit the ground, to shake the planet. And sometimes they can be very large. Another type of impact, or another type of quake, is maybe Mars, as it's cooling off, is readjusting inside and creating its own quakes. And a third type we believe will occur when Jupiter is very close and pulls and tugs on Mars, creating an environment for which the interior must adjust and create Mars quakes. では火星にそもそも地震なんてあるんでしょうかその証拠となったのは先ほどお見せしていたもので、えー、右左,左側にあったものが、まあえー、と流れのようなものが起きた。えっと、右側にあった絵は岩が転が,転がっているのが見えていましたつまり何らかの形で火星の表地面が揺れているわけですで地面が揺れる原因としては、えー、隕石が衝突することあるいは火星が冷えていくにつれて中,中身にちょっとした、えっと、割,割れ目ができたりすることさらには木星に近づいた時に木星と火星が近づいた時にやはり火星の内部でちょっとした割れ目が発生して、えー、火星でも地震が起きるんじゃないかと考えられています、so what do we expect? These quakes to tell us. Here is earthquakes. These are the measurements that are made, 
And this is what happens as these waves propagate through the planet. They are reflected at locations such as in and around the core, the inner core, the outer core, and through the mantle and crust. And likewise, when we simulate what we think Mars will look like, here are what Mars quakes may look like. And indeed, they will give us the same basic characteristics of the core and the mantle and the crust for us to determine what the inside of a terrestrial planet like ours must look like. The last mission I want to talk about is the new rover we're building right now called Mars 2020. And it looks like Curiosity, but it has a whole new set of instruments. And it has a whole new arm. And this arm will core rock and create a piece of rock that looks like a piece of chalk. It's a, it's a nice uh, uh, cylindrical piece that's maybe 30 centimeters in length, 40 centimeters in length. And then we will put it in a metal sleeve and lay it on the surface for another rover to pick up and put in a capsule that will be uh, transported back to Earth, and we will look at its samples. Another type of instrument, this one is called MOXIE, and it stands for Mars Oxygen In Situ Resource Utilization Experiment. So that's a very long name for a very simple process. It will take in the atmosphere of Mars, which is almost completely CO2. It will zap the gas, popping off an oxygen, and therefore creating carbon monoxide and oxygen. It will vent the carbon monoxide and hang on to the oxygen. Now the oxygen can be used to create rocket fuel or to breathe. And so this is an experiment for astronauts. We will do it in the morning, the afternoon, in the evening, in each part of the season. And it will give us an idea of how efficient this process is to support humans on Mars. Hi, Mars 2020 to 2020 で、まず Another experiment is a radar experiment that will transmit radio waves into the ground looking for underground aquifers. さらにマーズ 
そういったものも見ようと思っています。And finally, another one of the really exciting experiments that we will have on, Curiosity, on Mars 2020 is a helicopter. We will drop it on the surface and it will fly. And as it flies, it will recon reconnaissance the area. It will have a camera. Uh, what we call a GoPro camera, and it will make measurements not only of the path, potential path, but also of features in the hills, and then radio back that data uh, indeed uh, to the rover. Uh, we have tested it in the laboratory. Here it is flying in a Martian atmosphere in a chamber. And it appears to be working very well. So, this is a new type of experiment. It will be our first aerial vehicle on another planet. The Mars 20, 20, I'm going to tell you about it. 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 So when humans go to Mars, they will land in one area, and we call that an exploration zone. They will land in a part, they will live in another part, they will gather resources, and then they will perform experiments in many other places. But they will stay in an area that's about 200 kilometers in size for many years. これがでそのようないろんな道具があるわけですけど将来的には有人探査ということを考えてでその有人探査の活動のイメージです、えー、あのランディングサイトと書いてあるところに着陸した後に四角いポチのところに住む居住道を作ります人間は大体半直径200キロの間を活動しながら例えば現地での資源を調達したりあるいは科学探査をしたりするそういったことが今イメージされているわけです、so where is the exploration zone? Well, right now we have not chosen it. But we have about 45 places on Mars we're considering. Now remember, we're only going to pick one of these places, and we will continue to go there for many years. Thank you very much. So we have a little time for questions. Hi, it's Noah. Good to see you. We have a question here, right here. Here's one. You had a question. Yeah. Okay. Here comes a mic. We don't have a lot of time for questions, but let's take several. Go ahead. ご苦手なので日本語で失礼します。えっとあの火星に水があるアイデアの数億年間に生物はどれぐらいの進化を遂げられるのかあとその段階の生物がその急激な乾燥とか寒冷化にどう耐えられる可能性があるのかっていうの
like Phoenix and now Insight, though they look very similar, that was cheaper to do than building a whole new structure. The same for Curiosity, the second generation of Curiosity being Mars 2020, that's cheaper to do than building a whole new rover. Two more questions, and that's it. What do we got? Yeah, here we go.